Hey, it's Logan Christopher from Lost Empire Herbs, and I wanted to walk you through feeling the effects of herbs immediately. Uh, this is something that a lot of people are curious about, um, and it's an interesting topic because uh, some people are more sensitive than others. This is whole area of herbal energetics, right? And feeling the energetic nature of the herbs. So you're not gonna feel a chemical reaction of one molecule doing something else to a molecule in your body necessarily, but the energetic component, that's really where this comes from. Now, the easiest way to get started with this, probably easiest way, I mean, there's probably more potent. If you wanna feel the effects of some herbs, right? Psychoactive substances, you'll definitely be feeling the effects and will be quite aware of them. Although it's not necessarily, you know, those, those take a little time to kick in. But with nervines, these are herbs that act on the nervous system, uh, specifically helping to relax it. So nervine relaxants or uh, nervine hypnotics, ones that are especially good for falling asleep. These are gonna be a good place to cultivate this ability to feel the herbs. So I have a few of the different uh, nervines that we have uh, at Lost Empire Herbs here. Uh, we got Albizia, Blue Vervain, my favorite here, but also Rishi, Gotu Cola, and Zisiphus to play with. Um, in Chinese medicine, the, the nervine category would fall under Shen, although Shen kind of also describes some other things. So it's not only that, uh, different systems of herbalism, right? So the Western herbalism versus Chinese herbalism. So we're gonna start with Blue Vervain. This is one of our newer products and uh, something I'm very happy about having. So the Blue Vervain is a very strong nerving. It's gonna work on the nervous system and basically just reduces the stress right off of them. And most people will be able to feel this effect. Now, it is very bitter, right? And the bitter nerving, those tend to go together because it is this bitter effect that tends to have this nerving quality. And this is why it's important to taste herbs like this when you're trying to get that effect. So if we just put this tincture into a capsule and swallowed it down, you wouldn't taste the bitterness and therefore it would not have the same effect on the body, on the nervous system as it has there. So I'm just gonna play along with this. If you get these herbs or some similar ones, of course, this is just a few things we have. There are many other nervines out there all across the world. Every system is gonna have something similar to this. You can practice it in the same way. So I'm, I'm not gonna be doing full doses, dosages of all these things just because quite a bit, so just a few drops, and this is something I'll typically take with Blue Vervain. And what I notice, you, you may have noticed a lot of people, they'll, they'll take like a deeper breath. Uh, that can be a sign that it's working on the lungs, but also just kind of the stress reducing off the body. People will take a deeper breath in, so I had a little bit of that. And I carry a lot of tension in the shoulders area, the trapezius, so I, I typically feel like that lightens it off and I notice I'm a little calmer from doing that. So let's go to Albizia here. I only have some of these in bags available. And all the, although all these have this nerving effect, you will notice differences in how your body responds to them. So I don't have the same kind of effect from the Albizia one, there's this really pungent flavor with it. Let me get some tea. But I do notice uh, something along the lines. It's not as strong as Blue Vervain. I really, for the immediate effects, Blue Vervain is one of my favorites. So let's move on to Zisiphus. So as you're doing this, just you can close your eyes, tune into the flavor of it, and that's gonna help bring you into the feeling with it. And I'm just feeling like calm and good right now. So doing this back to back like this is not the necessarily the best way. Uh, it reminds me of uh, uh, when I was doing some of my herbalism training, we are doing a class and uh, going over um, actually a, a lot of nervings, but ones that are uh, for pain or for sleep, right? And just basically as we're passing around these tinctures and taking a bunch of things, just almost stoned throughout the class from the effects of all these different herbs. So somewhat similar here. So that was Gold to Cola there. And it's, I was definitely feeling like this lowering of all my energy, just feeling peaceful. But uh, with the Gotu Cola, there's some action with that, but also clarity in the mind too. So Gotu Cola for me, 
It's not as sharply focusing as Bacopa, for instance, uh, but it, it kind of has a focus, but a, a calmer focus, less concentrated, just more of a peaceful thing. Um, that's why I guess it was used for meditation a lot, just the, the specific effects that it has. Then we have Rishi Mushroom as the last one here. Now, as far as feeling the effects, the mushrooms are ones that don't have the strongest effects, but since we have a very concentrated Rishi, if you tune into it, you will notice that uh, calming, peaceful effect that it brings. I'm just trying to clear my palate a bit with this tea between each one. And the Rishi definitely has that bitter taste to it. Potent taste. So, like I said, this can be a way you can experiment and really tune into those effects. I'm feeling just in a joyful mood right now. Uh, very calm, very relaxed, but happy at the same time. So it's a good thing to do. If you need that kind of support in your life, definitely recommend uh, looking to these herbs. They can help reduce stress and just make you more, I guess, even keeled would be a way people uh, describe. So in instead of turning to certain medications that so much of the world is on now, I would recommend first, you know, there's a time and place for that, as with all things, but uh, these herbs can certainly support you along the same lines to uh, make you have an enjoyable mood, uh, clarity of mind, and everything that goes along with that. So if you're interested in this stuff, head on over to Lost Empire Herbs. Check out a lot more information that we have on these herbs for the specific effects and find which herbs are right for you. Thanks.